Hi guys, today I'm back to film another get ready with me. Um, these are just kind of the easiest things for me to film because obviously I put on makeup almost every day so it's pretty easy for me to film these. Um, but today I'm going to be trying out kind of some new, some new products and some things that are new but not quite as new. <laughs> um, so I kind of did start a little bit. The first thing I have on is the Nip and Fab Smooth Viper Venom Micro Blur Fix. This is fine. Um, I don't really feel like it blurs my face. Um, like, you know, if I had a zit or I have, you know, freck or not freckles, um, pores, fine lines, it doesn't really fill those in or make them look smooth. So, mm, it's kind of iffy on that, but it doesn't really mattify my face, I feel like. So I used it today because I'm trying out a new foundation um, and I just kind of want to be as fair as possible with it. So the foundation I'm trying out is the Japanesque Luminous Foundation. This is in shade number one. Sorry, the light is from the sun is a little intense today. Um, but I have that on. So far, so good. I really, really like it. Um, I Even though I have a mattifying primer on, I do feel like it's a little bit glowy. It's a little bit more like a satin with the mattifying primer. I feel like it has pretty decent coverage. Um, it's kind of like the twin sister to the Urban Decay Naked Skin, but the Naked Skin is more matte and this is more luminous. So I feel like the coverage and everything, um, even the consistency, they're both pretty runny. This one is a little bit thicker than the Naked Skin, but I feel like they're really, really similar. So I'm liking them so far. Um, for brows, I filled them in with my, my Ulta Brow. I think it's called Brow Tint. Yeah, Brow Tint in light. Just kind of ran that through. Um, and then I went through and I kind of outlined everything, kind of filled in any more sparse areas with the uh, L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. I don't know. Still don't know about this product. I'm kind of liking it because it's really, really quick to just brush this through the main part of my brows and then just kind of go quickly and outline everything. But, I mean, that pencils can be really hard to work with at times, so I'm kind of iffy on that one. So I'm probably going to keep everything really light and pretty natural today. I'm just kind of not feeling like doing anything super dramatic. Um, so I'm taking my Anastasia. This is the World Traveler palette. I'm going to be taking the soft peach color with a like fluffy crease brush and I'm going to put that in the crease um, just pretty softly. I mean it's soft peach so it's not like crazy pigmented anyways but... So now that I have a soft peach kind of just <clears throat> messily kind of thrown in my crease, um, I'm going to take, I'm going to take a normal shader brush and see how this goes. I'm going to take ColourPop Lovely and put that on the lid. I don't know. We'll see how this goes. If it doesn't work, I will take probably like a different brush or a sponge tipped applicator and do that instead. I don't usually use this brush with my ColourPop shadows, but today I wanted to give it a try, so we'll see. Oh yeah, that's not going to cut it. It's just showing up as glitter. So, let me grab, I feel like sponge tip applicators actually work really, really, really well with this, these eyeshadows. This is just a really tiny one from like a Wet n Wild palette. Um, however, working with the sponge tip applicators, I definitely get more fallout, I feel like, but... It applies the color a lot better. Yeah, like that is so much better. A little bit of Morocco on a little little pencil brush and kind of work that into the outer V. I'll probably take my E25 and kind of blend with it too. Just I like to use this to precisely apply it and then I take the E25 and blend it. So um, I'm going to take Soft Peach and the pencil brush and apply that along my lower lash line. Kind of just in the middle. I'm not really going all the way to the outer corner and I'm not going all the way in. Taking Morocco on a pencil brush and I'm gonna apply that on the outer, outer little third of the lash line. And take brown. I'm gonna take my Ulta Automatic Liner in Deep Brown and apply that along the lash line. So I applied that Ulta liner and then I set it with the brown shadow out of my Anastasia Catwalk palette um, just because it's really not very intense over top of these glittery colors so putting the shadow on top does actually kind of help intensify the liner a little bit. 
um, especially with I said like these really glittery shadows. So now I'm moving on to inner corner highlight and brow highlight. So I'm taking for my brow highlight my typical little angled eyeshadow brush from Sigma and I'm actually going to take my um, Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette and I'm going to take Light Cocoa which is just this kind of it's kind of more of a satin color. It's not really, it's not like a super, super noticeable highlighter. Ooh, that was bright. And just going to sweep that under the brow bone. corner I'm just going to take this little Real Techniques brush, it's just the first thing I like grabbed, and I'm going to take this little Pop Beauty Trio. Um, this will be in an upcoming Get Ready With Me too because I have been using this a ton. So this is going to be probably kind of, actually it might be more of a tutorial because I was going to do kind of my go-to spring look and I do use this a lot for that kind of for that go-to spring look I guess. So. I'm just going to take this little fluffy brush. It's kind of fluffy for this, but I mean, it should work. Yeah, works just fine. I don't know if I even said, but I'm taking the lightest color, I feel like, obviously, for an inner corner highlight. Just popping that on there. This was actually, like, perfect for inner corner highlight. Really didn't have to, like, do anything. So, before we move on to mascara, I'm going to do concealer really quick. Um, so this is the NYX Gotcha Covered Concealer. I'm a little nervous to try this. I mentioned this in my haul and kind of why I was a little bit nervous to try it. Um, but mostly, if you hadn't seen that video, it's just mostly because it's kind of a dewy finish concealer. So whenever I'm kind of iffy on a concealer, my favorite brush to use is the Sigma F64. This just works well with pretty much every concealer. Um, there are a couple that I feel like it does not as great with, but it still does okay, so... When in doubt, I use this brush, um, and I'm just going to apply that to my under eye. I'm actually going to do it on my finger, because it's really the way you should do it. Ooh, it's a little thicker than I remembered it being, but we'll see. I'm going to dot just a little bit right there, too. Okay. Oh, so far so good. It would be really nice if the sun was just not being so bright and obnoxious right now. It's making it like really hard for me to see my mirror. Okay, so far so good. Gets a little brush stroke like if I like kind of sweep like this, but if I kind of go back through and kind of stipple, it's fine. The color is lighter than I thought it would be. I did grab number one, which was ivory, but I never expect it to be, like, that much highlighting. Like, I'm so pale, I don't expect many concealers to be very highlighting on me. However, the Makeup Forever one is obnoxiously light. That one almost drives me crazy how light it is. At first, I really liked it, but now it's just really annoys me every time I put the concealer on, how brightening it is. So I have to kind of set it with, like, a face powder to bring down the brightness a little bit. I kind of definitely wish I would have grabbed just a different color of that one, but so used to grabbing the lightest color of pretty much anything that I didn't really think about it too much. I'm just kind of, I don't really like the whole super white under eye trend, so I think that's why the Makeup Forever one bothers me. I don't mind a subtle little bit of highlighting on the under eyes, I just don't like when it looks like it's white under there. Um, it just, to me, does not look good. I think some people can pull it off, but I really, 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 really don't like it on myself. So so this is definitely a dewy, I feel like it could crease really quickly, so I'm going to set it right away. Um, this is the NYX Radiant Finishing Powder and the Real Technique Setting Brush. Um, I'm going to go ahead and quickly set this before it starts to get creasy. Because it's already looking a little, I don't know... It just looks really thick and like it would crease really easily. I know I said I'm not into the super white under eye trend and then I've been using like this powder which is really really light on the under eyes but this is part of my project pan and the 
reason it's part of my project pan is because I don't really like the like super light under eyes. I mean I definitely went through a phase where I really liked it but I just when I look back at makeup pictures that I like um, the ones that stand out to me more are the ones where I'm using a more natural looking concealer um, not the ones where my under eye is like super bright <laughs> super white looking so I am just panning this I'm suffering through um, but I normally kind of top it with face powder on top even of that even just to kind of help it not be so white okay now on to mascara um, I did open my CoverGirl Super Sizer one, but I haven't, I've used it once or twice, but I just, it's still like a little too wet for me to use. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with my Rimmel Scandal Eyes, that way I can kind of work on finishing this one and kind of moving on to the CoverGirl one, because hopefully the CoverGirl one will be a little bit more dried out and more the consistency I like by the time I get to it, but this mascara lately has been getting a little clumpy, so... This one might already kind of be past the point where I don't really like it that much anymore. We'll see. Okay, so mascara is on. I tried to kind of save this eyelash a little bit and it went okay. This one I think is just stuck being a little bit clumpy, so... Just gonna have to deal with it being a little bit clumpy and not as nice looking as this one. Um, but the under eye concealer actually does still feel a tiny bit tacky, which mm, it's worrying me a little bit because I feel like that might just be really creasy, but it did have a really pretty fair good amount of reviews on Ulta, I think, and they were pretty good. <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna move on to blush, and I'm actually gonna use... I'm going to go ahead and use my Laura Geller Baked Trio. I'm going to go ahead and use the blush out of here. Um, I'm going to start with this Duo Fiber F50 stippling brush. If that doesn't work, I'm going to move to the Real Techniques, the blush brush. And I know this one will work. So we're going to start with this. So one thing I guess I can talk about is I'm not really sure what's going to be coming up for upcoming videos. It is the end of the month or closer to the end of the month. So obviously, you know, Project Pan and um, favorites and all that kind of stuff coming up. But I don't know. I've had kind of a little bit of a hard time just trying to figure out what to film lately. Um, I don't know. I, I know I can film Get Ready With Me. These are something I like to film. But I don't know. It's I'm having a hard time like figuring out other things to film. If you guys, if you guys have some ideas of what I can film, um, feel free to comment them down below. Um, some things I know I have upcoming are, I have an Ulta like brand review. I have a half my face is drugstore. The other half is more expensive products coming up. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to think if there's really. I mean, again, like I said, you know, there's the typical stuff like favorites and empties, Project Pan, um, and I'll keep up the Get Ready With Me's and tutorials. Um, like I said, I have my, like, my go-to spring look coming up. I was kind of thinking about doing a review for the, you know, Japanese foundation that I have on, you know, wearing it throughout the day and that kind of thing, but I'm kind of trying it out for the first time today, so I don't know. I don't know if maybe I should do that review or not, but we'll see. I just need some ideas, I guess, of what to film because I feel like the main things I'm filming are, you know, the same four videos at the end of the month slash beginning of the next month, and then I feel like the rest of the month is hauls and get ready with me's, which is fine, but I do want there to be a little bit more variety in there. Um, the other video I was thinking about filming was like my skincare routine for morning and night. Um, depending on how long that video would be, it would either be one long, longer video or two separate kind of somewhat smaller videos. Um, but if I do two separate ones, I might be able to go a little bit more in depth, I think. So I haven't figured out what I want to do with that, but this blush is really pretty. Sorry, I just had to like stop and notice it. Let's see. I'm going to use a new highlighter, but I don't know which one. So this is the Makeup Revolution Ultra Strobe Balm in Euphoric, or Euphoria. 
I thought it was euphoric, but apparently it's euphoria. Um, this is like a white with like a pinky purple, almost coppery at points, kind of duochrome in it. Um, it never showed up in my haul. It's probably not going to show up on camera now, but it's really, really pretty. I just, eh, I don't know if I want to wear that one today. Otherwise, I have this Smashbox LA Lights um, cheek and lip color, which I'm not going to use this on my lips, but I think we're going to use this one today, the Smashbox one. I'm use a Smashbox one. I just don't know. I mean, let's just go for it. I guess I'm just going to swipe it on the tops of my cheeks because... I mean, if this was like going in my makeup kit, I would be a little more worried about it, but I bought this product for me, so I'm not too worried about it. About being ultra hygienic with it. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that. I'm actually, oh, I'm kind of wondering if a cream really was the best way to go just because I had that dewy under eye concealer on. Oh, sorry, that concealer is just kind of freaking me out. Everything is just dewy and luminous today, and I don't know if that's a good or bad thing yet. Well, I guess we'll see later in the day. Like, if I'm super greasy, I'll know to not wear this combination of products ever again. But we shall see. So, the highlighter, it is really pretty when it catches the light just right. But, I mean, I don't know if it's even going to show up on camera, to be honest. I can just kind of faintly see it every now and then. But this is going to be, I think, really nice for kind of more... Um, natural highlighting days when I just want it to look like my skin is naturally glowing or you know that kind of thing um, so now I'm gonna move on to kind of just dusting a light layer of powder all over my face I always do this it's just kind of another step I do to make sure I stay really really matte um, and I don't cake up the layers I like I said it's just a really light layer I feel like if you're doing too many layers it can get too cakey and then you're just kind of almost it almost feels like you're defeating the purpose then a little bit because once you do start to get oily it's just going to get cakey and oily um whereas if you do these light layers it's a little bit i feel like it helps prevent my oil better but it wears better too so i'm going to take the ulta mineral powder foundation this is in fair one um and just do a really really light layer of this and i'm going to take the ulta powder brush with that Actually, this brush is probably a little too dense. I'm going to take a really big fluffy brush because, like I said, light layers. So, I'm going to take the Sigma Large Powder F30. And this is big. So, I'm going to put some in the cap and lightly dust it on. So, lastly, I'm going to do lips. I was going to use something new. I was going to use the L'Oreal and Pro Matte gloss thing but I think I'm just going to stick with this because it's easy and I'm panning it. It is the Tarte Alluring Lip Surgeons. It claims it's matte, but it's definitely not. You'll kind of see what I mean here. Um, but it's just kind of a nude color. I don't have a whole lot left, so I mean, I'm just kind of panning it unofficially. Um, I just have, I don't know, kind of have to take a little break every once in a while and kind of focus on something else for a few days. Because um, I am almost, 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 almost done with my NARS one. Like, really close, but um, I just take a little couple days break and have been using this pretty much every single day instead. So as you guys can see, definitely not matte. It's pretty glossy. Um, but my lips kind of needed this because they're just really dry and chapped. And I feel like the Tarte Lip Surgeons actually do moisturize my lips. Whereas the NARS one does not. So it, it doesn't dry my lips out, but it just kind of has like a little bit of a sticky tackiness to it. Um, just so the product like obviously lasts longer and stays a little bit better, but it's, I don't know, it just doesn't do anything for my lips. It doesn't dry them out, but it doesn't moisturize them. That is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please don't mind my hair in this video. I used a new shampoo and conditioner and it is horrible. It is doing horrible things to my hair. My hair is like doing this thing like here, like see how this is like chunked up like this. It keeps doing that even though like I brush it and I don't, it's just, it was a horrible shampoo and conditioner, but you guys will see that in my empties video because it was just a sample. Thank God. <laughs> um, but that's kind of why my hair is just like really, it's almost kind of stiff and like not moving, but I'm kind of rambling a bit. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I look forward to doing more of these and kind of getting to chit chat with you guys. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.